This video is sponsored by Chewy's Halal Vitamins, suitable for all the family. For an exclusive half price offer, enter code YT50 at checkout at www.chewies.com. They offer worldwide delivery plus no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Marriages. Look at the situation with weddings and marriages in our community today. Look at the circumstances with weddings, marriages. Ridiculous. There are weddings, wedding parties that are thrown, that are put together, that are in the six figures today. People spending six figures, dropping six figures for a four hour event where you don't even personally know most of the people. And they're probably gonna talk bad about you and your food after they leave. Like, man, the roti was kind of cold. They put the raita at the beginning of the line. Who puts raita and the biryani on top of the raita? They're bad-mouthing you. They're making fun of you. And you drop like 200 bucks a plate. You pay $200 a seat. Because you had to have your wedding in the super-duper intercontinental, intergalactic hotel. Right? It's got, it's got a launch pad on top where a spaceship can land. Just in case if any Martians wanted to come to your wedding. We have relatives there too, you know? <laughs> you know? I'm naming, we got relatives everywhere. Right? So, it, it's... That's the wedding. I, I'm not lying to you. I wish I was lying. I wish I was joking. I travel a lot. And it's not a lot of fun. I miss my family. I miss my babies. But I will tell you one thing. I'm grateful for traveling for one reason. I have an easy out and an easy excuse from attending occasions that just would make me sad. I want to congratulate those people. Really, sincerely I do. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be a party pooper. I don't want to be Mr. Self-Righteous. But I just, I can't help it. I've been invited to an aqiqah, the birth of a child, the feast at the birth of a child that costs like upwards of 40, 50 grand. What are we doing? Are people starving and dying in this world? We're starting off a life, we're starting off a relationship in debt. You know the Prophet ﷺ said that the best of marriages, the best of weddings, the ones that are the most blessed, are the ones that have the least amount of these type of extravagant expenses made. You know the Prophet ﷺ, Walima, the feast for after the wedding is a sunnah, a great sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. But you know what the Prophet ﷺ told us? He said, Bi'sa al-Walima. He said the worst Walima is the one where there is no place for poor people. Subhanallah. Think about our occasions now. We want to invite the cream of the crop. We want celebrities there. We want famous people there. That's who we want at our occasions, at our parties. And the Prophet ﷺ is saying, that's the worst possible way to celebrate. You didn't make place for the ummah? What's your, what, what, what were you ashamed of? What were you embarrassed of? Poor people? Abu Huraira was a poor man. Homeless people? Abu Huraira slept outside the masjid. You were, afraid, you were embarrassed of like lower class people? Labor class people, Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu was born into slavery. You were embarrassed of having like some outsider there that's not related, Salman al-Farisi. And yet, what happened? Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu was the best student of the Prophet ﷺ. Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu was the mu'addin, the right hand man of the Prophet ﷺ. Salman al-Farisi, the Prophet ﷺ says, Salman minna al-bayt, your family brother, come on in. Bring it in for a hug. Your family, we don't, we don't shake hands, we hug. So we really have to think about how we're spending money. We can't even get to the conversation of how we're earning money because we haven't even figured out how to spend money.